So we're going to start uh, to take a look at, you know, just a basic example uh, problem that, that starts to consider equilibrium and the things that we've talked about with free bodies and so on and so forth, idealized support conditions. The first step in our process is we have to draw a free body. I'm interested in, you know, this type of problem might be, say, find the reactions at A and B. Well, I'd have to draw a, a you know, free body diagram of my beam. That would mean pulling the beam away from where it's supported. So my free body diagram might be just a line that represents the beam. I'd have to put the forces that act on that beam. So I got the 100 pound force here, three feet from the left, and then I've got the 500 pound force here, three feet from the right. But I need to represent, uh, I pulled this free body away from where it was supported. So I need to represent the pin over here at A. We talked about the idealized support conditions. Not to say that it has these, but it could have them. A force normal to the surface, a force parallel. The roller over at B, you know, again, we talked about this. Uh, idealized support condition, and we said that could possibly generate the uh, a force perpendicular to the surface. Now, since these are unknowns, I better label them some way, you know? And you could do this many different ways, but the way I'll do it is I'll say capital R because they're reactions, they're unknown reactions. If I say I got a side A and a side B, I'll put RA, and then I usually put a V to stand for vertical, vertical direction. So this one, the horizontal over on this side would be R, A, H, vertical and horizontal. And over here at B, I got R, B, V for reaction at B, vertical. Okay? So that's my free body diagram. What is the R stand for? Reaction. And then A is just... Side A and B is side B. Okay? Any other questions? Okay. What's my next step once I got my free body established? Write the equations of equilibrium. So I got an x equation, sum forces, x direction equals zero, sort of like a little header there. I even underline it. I look at my free body diagram. I'm going to write down all the forces over on the left side of the equation. I'm going to set them equal to zero. Look at my free body diagram. How many x forces do I have? One. What is it? RAH. Which way does RAH go in my free body diagram? In the right. I, I've got it drawn to the right, so I'd say positive. Do I have anything else in the x direction? No. What's my equation in the x, uh, sum of forces in the x equals zero set? RAH equals zero. So what does RAH equal? You solved your first equation right off the bat. RH equals zero. Okay? I'm going to put that up here. That's a milestone right there. Okay? Next equation. Some forces in the y direction. Put a little heading, put a line underneath it, sort of, you know, say now I'm dealing with my y forces. I'm going to take all of my y forces on the left side, sum them all up. I'm going to sum them equal, set it equal to zero. How many y forces do I have in my free body diagram? Four. So I got R A V. Which way does it go? Up. So that's positive. Let me move this over a little bit. So I got positive R A V. 
I got a hundred. Which way is the hundred going? Down. So I'm going to call that negative. I got the five hundred. Which way does it go? Down. Negative. And you got R, B, B. Which way does it go? Up. So I'm going to call that positive. So i got this equation here. I could rearrange this equation now, make it a little bit nicer. I could say RAV plus RBV equals, and I could take the minus 100 minus 500, that's minus 600. When I bring it to the other side, it becomes a positive 600. Okay? Could I take my answer from the x equation? Could I plug it in here? Is there a substitution available from the x equation answer? Mm, yeah, RAH equals zero. Can I plug RAH equals zero in down here? No, no because it's 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 not that that term is not down here. That unknown. It's not. There's no RAH in this equation. So you've got two unknowns here. What are you going to have to do? You're going to have to write another equation. Okay? So I'm going to erase this, but remember, RAV plus RBV equals 600. What's my next equation that I can write? Moment. Moment. I've got two unknowns. I've got this one and this one, RAV and RBV. I would like to sum moments where, do you think? A might be nice, because what happens if I sum moments about A? RAV goes right through A. A force that goes through a point can create no moment about that point, right? Because there's no distance. So A is a nice place. RAH is already equal to zero, so I won't even, you know, again, it goes through A. So these two things just sort of cancel out because they act through A. Moment is all about creating rotation about a point. These two things go right through the point, no rotation. Everybody understand that? Yep. Yeah. So RAV can be a force and a moment? RAV can be a force, and, a, and the force can create a moment. It just can't create a moment about point A. Does everybody understand that? Okay. What about the 100-pound force? Can it create a moment about point A? Yeah. Tie a little string around it. What's the distance? Three. Which way does it go? Positive. Because? Clockwise. Clockwise positive. What about the 500 pounds? What's its distance? Seven. What kind of moment does it create? Positive or negative? Positive. positive. What about RBV? What's its distance? What kind of moment, positive or negative? Negative. negative. Counterclockwise. Those are all my moments, and I summed them all up over on the left side, set them equal to zero. So now I'll just do the math. This is plus 300 foot-pounds. Show it like that. This is plus 3,500 foot-pounds. And this is minus 10 feet RBV. I'll bring it to the other side. It becomes positive 10 RBV. So this is plus 3,800 equals 10 RBV. I'll divide through by 10. What does RBV come out to be? 380 pounds. Okay. I've got RBV is equal to 380 pounds. What can I do with that answer? Plug it back into our, uh, 
plug it back into Y equation. RAV plus RBV equals 600. I just found RBV is 380. Now I got RAV plus 380 is equal to 600. RAV is going to come out to be what? 220 pounds. That's your answer.